Hi, everyone, and welcome to a new broadcast on Larissa Gabi Show. And today I have a wonderful queen. And uh, the special thing about her is that I met her personally in Seattle, Washington, during the Global Beauty Hour this year. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Larissa. I'm so excited to be here. Congratulations, Lisa. I'm so happy for you and uh, the crown fits you, the title, you deserve it. Congratulations for your title. Thank you so much. This title means so much to me because it's a title that's picked by our directors. Wow. Sarah Marie Schumacher and Susan Bradley West mm -hmm. pick an ambassador. This year, there's actually an adult ambassador and a junior ambassador. Oh. So I was lucky enough to be picked from the around 220 contestants wow. for this great honor to represent the American Royal Beauty system. Mm -hmm. Their system is really based on serving the community. Their mm -hmm. motto is how to serve. And since I already enjoy doing that as a professional in my salon, mm -hmm. I, I love to hold donation drives and um, reach out in the community and donate my time. And now I'm just doing it with a crown on my head. Beautiful, beautiful. So you have been in the pageantry for quite some some time now. I have. This is my this was my third year as a state or regional title holder. Mm -hmm. And I really knew that the system was my home when I, I heard about the crown to serve motto. Mm -hmm. And I knew that this was a calling I had received from God to help people any way that I could. And it was just an amazing journey that I've been on with American Royal Beauties because it fits my purpose that I feel God has given me in my heart. Exactly. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, many people here do not know you as a person and uh, in Norway. And uh, I would love you to present yourself again about what you are doing, what it is, um, where do you live and all that. Okay. My name is Lisa Miner. I am the National Ambassador for American Royal Beauty's pageant system. Mm -hmm. I'm a salon owner. I'm a mother of a veterinarian. I am a wife of 28 years to my husband, Brian, who's extremely supportive of everything that I do. Mm -hmm. And I'm always looking for ways to become involved in ways that help people that can't help themselves. Um, I'm a member of the Zanta group in our town of Midland. It's actually an international group of women in the professions. We actually hold a seat in, in the United Nations, which is oh. really amazing. And we actually bring a policy to make it a law mm -hmm. um, in the process of that. And we actually hold a seat on the United Nations. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, it's just it's so amazing what you're doing and uh, with all your profession and everything you've been involved in. It's, uh, how do you, what is, uh, what makes you stronger? What drives you to do all this? Well, I was, it's kind of a funny story. I was sitting there doing a manicure on one of my clients and I truly love doing nails. I mean, um, it's not just the manicure. In fact, I have an apprenticeship program where I teach women who are looking for a skill to support themselves and it's called more than a manicure apprenticeship program because I kind of feel like the COVID and sometime that maybe the customer service element is kind of missing from those personalized services that you offer your clients mm -hmm. and I just wanted to bring that back into the manicure wow. and I was doing a manicure with one of my clients and I just got this inkling I just got this I, I say it in my speech, diamond in the rough. I, I got this feeling that I wanted to do more. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do more to help people. Exactly. And in order to do that, I needed to set some goals for myself, like becoming a better public speaker, like um, overcoming negative self-talk, the talk that would tell you, you can't do that. Why try? Someone else can do it better. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to be a part of being a positive force to let people know that this shy salon owner could have enough, could could make the purpose of what she wanted to do important enough to overcome the the scared talk in public as mm -hmm. well as the negative self talk. Mm -hmm. And I'm also an um, an ambassador for the self love beauty system, which is um, an organization that tries to get women to have a better view of themselves mm -hmm. and also a positive self esteem. 
Awesome. And to overcome negative self-talk through the use of vision boards mm -hmm. as well as uh, teen conferences. Yeah. I, I already I already jumped ahead to teen conference because that's my button. I <laughs> love to to encourage and support and inspire our youth because I feel like they're our future and it's so important that we listen to them and help them to develop. It's true. I love that. And then you know, I also have an organization called Beautiful Inside Out. Wow. <sighs> And then uh, what you just mentioned about building up the self-esteem. And I think it's for this season of not only the year, this time and the young generation and also older people, they need, they need to rebuild their self-image. And no matter what people have been through or whatever situation they may find themselves in, it's never too late to fulfill your dream and be the person you were meant for. And we hear what you are saying is giving hope, helping, and uh, this is really, really encouraging. And especially because you are the example yourself. When we, I see you, I see you are so glamorous and you are a mom, you are, anyway, you know it. And um, <laughs> awesome. I just want to ask you, so um, what do you want to do with your title, this title that you got now? You say you want to impact the world. and is it only to impact America or tell us about or just your community? Well, uh, American Road Beauties uh, queens are encouraged by their directors as well as their drive inside to give back to their communities. Mm -hmm. And that's done through uh, appearances, parades, mm -hmm. um, donation drives where you're collecting for the local service agencies to help women who might be in a shelter mm -hmm. or a kitchen, just volunteering our time is really, really important. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to specialize this title to help impact our teens, because I just feel like the teens face so many more serious issues nowadays than they used to. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to personalize my title to help them in the way that I would build self-esteem in the teen conference. Mm -hmm. I would also start a program called Teen Talk where I do a free manicure once a month. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they have to do to pay for the manicure is to answer a question. Mm -hmm. And the last question that I asked was, what is the most challenging thing that teens face today? Mm -hmm. And I did this at a dress event mm -hmm. where the teens were allowed to come in and try on homecoming and prom dresses and take two home for free. And it was really an amazing opportunity for these young ladies to have a gown to wear to their homecoming and prom, and they didn't have to pay for it. Well, I was just doing manicures sitting there, and I was just like, I want to I wanna ask these teens, what are they facing nowadays? What, what do they need help with? What can I create that can be a positive force for these teens? Mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like the depression rates as well as the pseudo suicidal rates are alarming for mm -hmm. our teens. And I just want to be a part of being positive for them and listening to them. I feel like, you know, when we believe in someone, we truly believe in someone, I feel like they are unstoppable. And, you know, if you, you, you believe in someone and you say, I believe in you, it, it just, it just almost makes it seem that much more possible to accomplish. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Wow. That's amazing. And thank you. Uh, and then are you coming back to the Global Beauty Award? Do you know if you're going to be there? Because I'm going there. I would love to see you again. Oh, yes. I, I had a great time. Um, my coach, Wendy Russo, is wanting to... Um, I actually have a couple of coaches, but <laughs> um, she is actually wanting to nominate me for most impactful title holder, which that would be amazing because that is my goal as yeah. title holders to impact um, teens and women. Mm -hmm. And I plan to return because I felt like just all of the energy in the room was really super powerful yeah. and positive. It didn't seem to matter if someone, even just that they were nominated was meant a lot. And it didn't seem to matter if they didn't win the award okay. because just there was just so much positive energy in the room. And I got to, to be, um, interviewed by Lucera. So, I mean, that's amazing <laughs> too. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's true. I loved it. Yeah. And, uh, I just felt like it was so short time we have, Everything went so fast and it was amazing, as you said, good energy, love, and uh, all these beautiful ladies and men. 
actually somewhere to go again and again. So I encourage many people to come to the Global Beauty and I'm trying to bring alongside with some friends and um, yeah. So I would love to see you there again. And I hope that we're going to have good time this time to maybe chat more and yes. And uh, yeah. So how, right now you are the queen in your, with your title and uh, how are you involved in the community right now? Well, the, I am, like I was saying before, a member of the Zata International, which mm -hmm. is both local and international. Mm -hmm. and we hold um, monthly meetings and we hold donation drives to help the local service agencies again um, as well. And, and I'm also a member at, of the Self Love Beauty Organization, which I'm an ambassador there. And mm -hmm. I have out at the teen conferences. Mm -hmm. And there's this thing that we do called Affirmation Day, where we try to get everybody on board with positive affirmations. Like we might color a rock or like paint a rock, or we might actually um, write a positive affirmation. Like you are wonderful. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Um, you are enough. Because a lot of people just feel that they're inadequate and why try if they, they just don't think they can accomplish. Exactly. And someone, like I said before, if someone believes in you, I feel like that encouragement is all that someone needs to actually do something. Mm -hmm. I was on a weight loss journey last year and ended up being to the point where I had lost 70 pounds. And I, I was kind of an emotional eater and I kind of let the negative self-talk kind of get to me. But when I tried to overcome that, it was really good for me mm -hmm. to be a part of a program um, to lose weight. And yeah. then after that, I thought, hey, I could I could be in a pageant. And American Royal Beauties was my first pageant that I competed in. And when I stepped on that stage, I was so afraid. But like I said, the directors um, actually make you feel very relaxed and comfortable to compete as yourself, mm. as you are right now. And it feels like a safe and encouraging space. And I'm so glad I did because I won the Michigan title, which is my state that I live in. Wow. Midland, Michigan is where I live. Yeah. And then after I reigned there, went to nationals, got fourth runner up. Then I did um, the Great Lakes region and won that title mm -hmm. and went back to nationals, fourth runner up again. And then this time I won the, um, oh gosh, I'm going to blink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went as I went as elegant Ms. Midwest. That's right. Oh. Um, and then ended up winning the ambassador title, which is a national title picked by the directors. And oh, I'm just funny. what a joining. Amazing, amazing. And I believe in each uh, each title you have one story, one experience. And I usually said I prefer to listen to this person than to just read their book. And you have the feeling, the experience. Wow, wow, wow. You know, I'm so thankful you came on my show. And I want you to say something to the women outside there, here in Norway, all around the world. Say something to a lady. And uh, I do believe this is not the last time you are coming on my show. I want to hear <laughs> about how the experience you have in every title and what you, how everything is going. Please say something to these ladies and men outside the team, anything you want to say. I would say you are capable of whatever you set your mind to. Set small attainable goals so that you can have success. Because when you, when you succeed, you not only become a better person, but you also offer the world what you have. We are all special like gemstones and we each have god-given talents and gifts that he wants us to share yes please use those talents and gifts because no one else can be you and we need you awesome <laughs> we are unique and god creates us different with every each gift there's nobody who doesn't have anything because we resemble him and uh he created us with love. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you so much. Love you too. <laughs> thank you, Larissa. See you soon and thank you again. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, dear.
Thank Were you, you going to say something else? Yeah, I wanted just to say, um, you know, see you soon in, at the Global Beauty Award because I know I'm going to see you there. And then I just want to thank the people who watch now and say thank you for watching like Sagabi Show and send me a message, an email. If you're wondering about something, maybe you have a story to share. Maybe you are a beauty queen and you would love me to interview you. You are welcome to take contact with me. Love you all and see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.